All right, so we are now in the fifth of this uh, series of videos on trying to evaluate the integrals of various powers of secant. So this will be trying to find the integral of secant to the fifth power theta d theta. And this is a little bit involved, but not too bad. Um, a way to solve this problem is to write this integral as um, the product of secant cubed theta times secant squared theta d theta. Okay. And then we want to use integration by parts. Okay, once again, if, if you're not sure what I mean by integration by parts, I have produced a video where we derive that and we also show an example of how to use the formula. But basically it says, and this is one of those that I asked us to memorize, it says that the integral of u times dv is equal to u times v minus the integral of v times du. And here we're going to um, assign to u, we will assign that to be the secant cube, this first part. Okay, and I'm just going to write that as a secant of theta cubed. Okay, it's the same thing. And so to differentiate that, um, I would, uh, of course, uh, differentiating this with respect to theta means that the 3 comes out in front. I get secant theta, and then I have to knock the power down by 1, so it becomes squared. Then I have to use the chain rule, and I have to do the derivative of what's inside. And so we've already talked about what the derivative of secant is. That's secant theta times tangent of theta. Again, we did that in the first video. So if you don't know how I'm getting that, please do go back to the first of this series of videos on the integrals of powers of secant. And then, um, so since I let u be this u up here in the formula, since I let that be this uh, term, then the balance of the terms are going to be the dv portion. Okay, and so let me write that here. So dv is going to equal secant theta d theta. And uh, of course, we've already integrated secant squared theta d theta. And we know the result of that is really very simple. It's just tangent of theta. We did that in the second of these videos. So there is a method to the madness we're using here. OK, so now we're just going to plug it into the right-hand side of this. And so let's go ahead and do that. So we get u times v, which is the product of these two terms. So that's going to be um, secant cubed theta times tangent of theta. That's this first, uh, the product of that u times v in that first term, minus the integral of, now we're going to do v times du, right? So v is tangent, and then we have this thing here, so we have tangent is the v portion times, and then all of this other stuff is 3 secant, in fact I have a square here and I have one more secant being multiplied, so that's cubed uh, theta times tangent of theta d theta, okay, and this is the du portion. Right, and so um, let's see what that is. Okay, so we get secant cubed theta times tangent of theta minus the integral of three times secant cubed of theta times tangent. We have two of these tangents being multiplied, so that's tangent squared theta d theta. Okay, and then um, once more, we we've done this now twice over. We, if you don't know what this is, we've shown in the last video and the video before the last one that um, tangent of uh, tangent squared of theta is equal to secant squared theta minus one. This is a trig identity. Okay, by trig identity. Again, if you're not sure why that is, please look at the last video. We talk about it there. And so if I write this out, I get secant cubed theta times tangent of theta minus the integral of 3 times secant cubed 
theta times secant squared theta minus 1 d theta. All right, so I think we're making some progress here. So we go to the next line and we say, okay, what is that? Well, this is equal to secant cubed of theta times tangent of theta minus, now look at this, I have minus 3 times secant, so I get the integral of minus 3 times secant to the fifth power theta d theta, that's interesting, and then I get a minus on the integral of 3 secant cubed theta times a minus 1, that's a plus integral of um, 3, let me write the 3 outside of the integral, so I get 3 secant cubed theta d theta. And we already showed what that is in uh, two videos ago. We showed what this is. Right? This happens to be what? This happens to be mm, 1 half uh, secant times tangent plus 1 half natural log of the absolute value of secant theta plus tangent of theta. And then of course we pick up some mm, constants. Okay, let me just call that C, let me call it C tilde for a second here. And I get, uh, okay, so look at this. I have here, I have three of these, um, let me write that three outside as well. I get minus three times the integral of what I'm looking for. So I'm going to take this to this side. And on this side, I had what I was looking for, the integral of secant to the fifth. So I get uh, 3 plus 1 is 4 of those, in fact, right? So um, uh, yeah, so I'm going to get um, 4 times the integral of secant to the fifth power theta d theta is equal to secant cubed theta times tangent of theta plus, now I'm going to multiply this 3 here into the 1 half of those terms there, so I get plus 3 half secant theta tangent of theta plus 3 halves natural log of secant of theta plus tangent of theta, and then plus c tilde times 3, I'm going to write as c um, hat, okay, that's just a constant, and I write it as a hat instead of a tilde because I multiplied by 3 and it's still a constant, and so now I divide both sides by 4, and I get the result I'm after, in fact, so I get that the integral of secant uh, uh, secant to the fifth power theta d theta is equal to one fourth secant cube theta times tangent of theta plus uh, three divided by four times two down below we get three eighths secant theta tangent theta plus three eighths natural log of uh, secant theta plus tangent theta, of course that's an absolute values, plus c hat divided by 4, I'm just going to write as c. All right, kiddies, uh, so uh, we've gone through five of these. I hope this is helpful to you. Um, if you do have any questions, then by all means, write me. I hope these, this series of videos was of help to you, and we'll see you in a future video, okay?